Hello. How are you doing in your adventures? I'm still here. I'm still doing. My face is looking a little puffy today. I'm not sure why. Um, I went and got my shot yesterday and I went up another dose. I'm at a 1.5 now. I don't feel hungry and the food noise is gone, but that's just because I just got my shot. Um, I'm working on figuring out food. I know how to fast. I know I need to fast. I can go without food for days and I'm not sure that's a great way to utilize a Zepic. But what can I say? That's what I'm trying right now. Um, for those of you who are just joining me and you just found me for the first time, I am working on losing 100 pounds. I'm about 40 pounds down right now. And my husband and I decided to adventure into the Ozempic realm and see if that was the key to helping us bust through this and be done with it forever. Um, that's funny. I've got weird hairs going on. I'm also in the middle of a uh, dreadlock journey and these sweet little babies are um, doing really good. Oh, I haven't even given you a hair update lately, but you know, there it is. Here's my hair. It's getting longer finally. Terry goes, oh, look, it's finally to your shoulders. I'm like, it is. Now I want to cut it. But, you know, there's that. Anyways, that's a whole nother, yeah. Because see, like, okay, here we go. I'm going to do it. This much is grown in the last year, and this is all my hair that I started with. So my hair was to my butt. It's thin. It's fine. And it bunched up that much, that much of it. So it's grown out about four inches in a year, which is, you know, normal, I guess. It's eight o'clock, but in all actuality, that's 15 minutes late. Now I got to go set the clock later. Anyways, um, I got distracted by my cuckoo. Uh, it's grown. It's getting there. It's still kind of tangling up on the ends. I'm still getting the little bubbles and bulbs down here, but it gives me something to play with when I'm at school and I'm bored. Um, two and a half more days of school. I'm so excited. Um, let's see. I thought I might do some questions that I've been asked this week and just kind of do those. So here's the questions that I've come up with this week. Do I have to eat food for Ozempic to work? Well, I'm not doing Ozempic brand. I'm doing a semaglutide, which is like before it gets labeled Ozempic. Um, do I have to avoid sugar for it to work? Does it cause diarrhea? What am I gaining? Why am I gaining weight on it? And how long will the side effects last? So I've done a lot of research and I've had some people, thank you very much for those of you who have commented. I really appreciate it. A lot of people have text with concerns, um, questions. Some people are along just to see what, how it goes, what happens, what becomes of it. Um, so with those questions that I just gave you, here's what I found. There has to be food in your gut for semaglutide to work. It can't slow down the movement of food and make you feel full if there's no food. So it, it, yeah, I, fasting kind of doesn't help. Um, it doesn't really hurt it though. So I'm probably going to do it again. But um, it's supposed to quiet the food noise so the desire for food. And I have noticed that. I have not noticed any nausea or anything like that, but I've noticed that I'm, I'm more content and I'm not like ravishingly hungry. Okay. Sugar. Sugar can in fact hinder the process. Sugar makes the body produce more insulin, which we know makes fat. And then the, if there's too much, now it would convert that fat and store it in your liver and if your liver is full then it would store it in your <laughs> butt and thighs um and in your muscles and everywhere else so if you're consuming too much sugar the semaglutide is making your body produce the GLP-1s and you are making more insulin which is in fact making more fat cells so you have to steer away from the sugar is what I've read um, which is like, 
okay, that makes sense. You should do like a high fat keto where you eat the butter and the avocados and the whole milk and that kind of stuff. But who knows? It's different for everybody. Okay. Semaglutide does in fact cause diarrhea because here's the kicker. Did you know that diarrhea is actually a sign of constipation? So fecal matter, poop, gets stuck in your, in your intestines and then your body's natural way of pushing it out is the diarrhea because the diarrhea goes around, it liquefies and it goes around those stuck sections. So if you're not having regular bowel movements, it's really important to let your doctor know. But do some research on diarrhea and constipation. I didn't know that until I dug into this, but it you can have diarrhea. It usually fades out in the first couple of weeks. I never had it. I've never had constipation yet. I'm not saying I won't, but I might not. Um, it's just different. It feels different. I feel like I, I should be going to the bathroom, but I... I don't really need to go to the bathroom, but I know I need to go to the bathroom. And when I go in there, I have to like think about it for a little while. It's not like hard to go to the bathroom, but it's just like, I know who wants to talk about bathroom talk, but this is really part of the semaglutide journey. It's definitely slowed things down. Um, I am going to the bathroom almost every single day. So some days it's twice and some days I skip. But what I have noticed is when I go, I feel so much better. So I don't know if that's my body's keeping that stuff in there so long. It's making it not toxic, but not as good. I don't know. But anyways, that is one of my concerns. I have been warned a lot about that. It's like, don't let your body slow down because then you won't be processing food and you get poison. And I mean, there's always extremes for everything. My fingernail is sharp and it's driving me nuts. ADHD. I can't not fixate on this fingernail that's like sharp right there. Okay, um, let me get back to my notes here. Yeah. Um, the possibility to gain weight on semaglutide is actually there. Back to that sugar thing when you're making more fat cells. Um, if you make more fat cells, then when you get off of the semaglutide, you have like more fat cells that want to fill back up with fluids and you're going to get bigger faster. So that's where I find that the fasting to me is very important because fasting destroys those fat cells. It doesn't just shrink them, it pulverizes them. Um, if you put too many sugar food, sugary foods in, you're gonna make more fat cells. It is possible to gain weight on semaglutide. If you don't change your eating habits, this is like any other diet. Every diet will work as long as you stick to it. Every diet will help you lose weight as long as you stick to it. What are you going to do after the diet to live your life? That's the question. How do you change? How do you feel full? How do you combat those things? More protein, no sugars, more vegetables. So the protein gives you that satiation. The vegetables give you the fiber to keep things moving. And it's just, you have to eat healthier. Um, the last question I had was how long will the side effects last? Everything I've read said it's usually about two weeks. So if you stop today in two weeks, everything should go back to normal. However, some say it can take longer. Some say it can last forever. But again, I am weighing the risk of heart attack, stroke, diabetes, death, blindness, all those things against having no appetite for the rest of my life. I still haven't experienced that. I'm still able to eat. Uh, you can't see the bag of Cheetos that's over there. Anyways, I'm still able to eat. I don't eat as much and I tend to lean towards better foods. I cut my carbs out. We went to a graduation party the other day and instead of like having a whole bunch of street tacos, I made myself a meat concoction with like meat, veggies, and sour cream. And it was really good. And I felt like I was doing well. So I didn't feel like I was like missing out or being deprived. Um, again, like I said, I will continue to take that risk of the side effects being permanent. 
I don't think they're going to be. I think there's with any other diet, I think there's, um, there's always going to be naysayers. There's people that are saying, well, it hasn't been out very long. It's a fad, blah, blah, blah. So is Fen Fen. So is Fentermine. So was Weight Watchers. So was Jenny Craig and Slim Fast and all the things. They'll work. But do the risks outweigh your health the way it is right now? And I feel like it's worth it. It really is. The last one I don't think I even listed it in the beginning was the financial investment. It's painful. It's excruciatingly painful. Um, I'm looking to use this as a way to learn to start saving. So when I stop taking the shot, I'm going to keep putting that money into the bank and saving up and it'll be my boat fund. Don't tell Terry. Um, and it's definitely making us really focus on um, our extra gigs that we do to make the money to pay for them every week. It's hard. It's a struggle, but it's worth it. It really is. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns, feel free to leave me a comment. I love seeing the comments. Sometimes the comments aren't very nice and I understand that everybody's entitled to their opinion. And I thank you for watching and I thank you for leaving me your, your opinion because you know, I have people that care about me very much and they're very concerned that I might be hurting myself and they have no problem voicing that opinion and I love them dearly for it, but I'm still doing it because I feel like it's what I need to do right now. But by all means, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.